a luxury hotel jacuzzi, a cement mixer, and the World Trade Center all have this piece of technology in common. What is the most expensive drone crashes in history? In the next 15 minutes, I'll share stories of drone pilots who made mistakes that cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. And wait until you see number three, where the drone pilot actually tried to bill their client for the crash. And stay till the end, because I will share the one mistake that caused 80% of these crashes, and it's probably something that you're doing right now too. Hi, I'm Sarah with Sarah Flies Drones, and if you have a moment and you'd like to, please like and subscribe, because I can always use more friends. So coming up, we have the $350,000 mistake that made international news, why a Hollywood director kept a crash in their final cut, the drone that accidentally improved a fireworks show, and the most expensive concrete mix ever made. Let's start with the most expensive drone crash of 2021, and that is the infamous World Trade Center drone crash that cost $350,000 plus in damages. And here's how it went down. Five o'clock, drone spotted over Manhattan. 512, drone impacts World Trade Center building. 513, full security protocol activated. 545, operator located and arrested. And the pilot's actual insurance claim said, reason for flight, filming viral content. So I think it went viral though in the wrong way. And I guess the judge agreed because he said, this isn't simply about property damage. In a post 9-11 New York, flying any aircraft near the World Trade Center shows an astounding lack of judgment. And yeah, I agree. And then the kicker is that the drone's SD card did survive and the footage was incredible, you know, until it impacted the building. And if you think that's expensive, wait until you see what happened in Las Vegas. And yes, we have the security footage. So let's talk about the Las Vegas Strip incident. In 2022, a DJI Inspire 2 was about to make an unscheduled appearance at Caesars Palace. Total damage was $217,000. Point of impact, 23rd floor window. Collateral damage, luxury suite furniture, but that had seen some things. And additional costs, guest compensation and potential PTSD. The hotel's security chief actually said it. He said, in my 20 years on the strip, this is a first. The drone actually landed in someone's jacuzzi. Thank goodness they weren't in it. But the guest quote in the Las Vegas Review Journal was even better. They said, I was watching TV when what sounded like a missile crashed through the window. There's now a drone in my bath and I'm on the 23rd floor only in Las Vegas. So what do you think went wrong here? Speaking of spectacular crashes, wait until you see what happened to the Space Needle and why the police actually thanked the drone pilot. It was New Year's Eve 2023 and a drone was about to give Seattle an unscheduled fireworks show. Direct equipment damage was $82,000. Fire suppression systems were 43,000 and labor costs for a reset were about 25,000. The Space Needle CEO said, the drone literally burst into flames on impact. Fortunately, our pyrotechnics team is pretty used to dealing with fire. And the fire department said that responding to a fire at the Space Needle was concerning enough and adding caused by drone made it uniquely 2023. And here's the really amazing part. The pyrotechnics lead later admitted that we're used to things exploding up here, but we keep it on a plan. The drone explosion actually added to the show. It activated a launch sequence by mistake and they're actually keeping that modification. So I'm not sure how they explained that one to their insurance. Coming up next, the drone that became part of a $125,000 concrete mix. This was at SoFi Stadium in 2020, and a drone was about to make history as the most expensive ingredient in concrete. Among the equipment destroyed was the crane control systems at $52,000, survey equipment at $40,000, and security systems at $30,000. The drone manager's report is incredible, and also kind of typical. They said, the drone managed to hit the only piece of equipment that wasn't insured for aerial impacts, and that they didn't even know that was a coverage gap until today. That is called Murphy's Law. And a construction worker said that it was like a scene from a movie. The, the drone came screaming in, bounced off three different pieces of equipment, and landed in the concrete mix, making it the most expensive concrete mix they've ever made. And the insurance adjusters, in 15 years of doing insurance, this is the first time I've ever had to write death by concrete mixer as a reason for a drone's damage. And just when you thought these crashes couldn't get any more electrifying, let's look at what happened at a Virginia power station. In this incident, transformer damage was $75,000, emergency response was $20,000, and temporary power solutions were $15,000. Power company's statement is pure gold. They they said, we've dealt with squirrels, birds, and even the occasional balloon. A drone is a new one. At least it didn't catch fire like the squirrels usually do. And the pilot's explanation on local news, he said, I honestly thought the buzzing sound was because of a low battery. Turns out it was the transformer I was about to hit. Next up is a Kentucky Derby crash that made it onto live TV and why NBC actually wanted to keep the footage. May 2021, 
a drone was about to give the Kentucky Derby the most expensive photo finish ever. As for the damage breakdown, the camera equipment was $45,000. Security response, $24,000. I can imagine the security at all of these things just you know, and event delay costs 20,000. And you know what? That would tick me off if I were in that audience. A drone should not slow up horses. The race official said, in 147 years of derby history, we've never had to delay a race because a camera drone took out our actual cameras. The irony is not lost on us. But the jockey's comment steals the show. He said, my horse was more annoyed by the TV crew's reaction than by the drone itself. First time I've heard those kind of words on live TV at the derby. And the NBC producer said, the drone actually got some amazing footage on its way down. We might use it in next year's Expect the Unexpected promo. I wonder how they filed that claim. Do you think they filed for neglect? And now we're down to our final two. First is a Hollywood set crash where a drone was about to become an unexpected star. As far as equipment losses here, the RAD camera was 50,000, lighting rig 20,000, and props 15,000. The director said, we were filming a scene about a disaster. The drone wasn't planned, but I think it actually added to the script. Sometimes reality is better than fiction. Their actual insurance claim form read, client wishes to submit claim for unexpected aerial choreography resulting in equipment redistribution. We are calling it a crash. And the crew member's account is priceless. The drone operator shouted duck! At the same instant, the director shouted action! And it was the best accidental timing I've seen in 20 years of filming. And finally, the Miami Beach crash, the turn and attempted a selfie into the most expensive hotel room upgrade ever. And this was in 2023, where a tourist was about to learn why drone selfies and high-rise buildings don't mix. Damage details include window replacement at $35,000, suite damages at $28,000, and guest compensation at $15,000. The guest explained, I wanted to see if my drone could take a picture through the window. Spoiler alert, it couldn't. And their insurance claim read, reason for claim, drone successfully identified window location. Unfortunately, it did so through direct contact. That's an understatement. Now that you've seen over $1.2 million in drone disaster damages, let me show you the critical mistakes that led to these. I've analyzed the flight logs of all of these incidents, and here's what's fascinating. Seven of the eight crashes shared the exact same setting mistake. Look at your drone setting menu and look for maximum distance. Most pilots set this to the maximum distance that their drone can fly, and that's their first mistake. In every single one of these crashes, except for the Miami Beach incident, the drone had disabled or maximized maximize their distance limits. And here's why that's critical. Because of these three critical settings that most pilots miss. One, maximum distance should be to your visual line of sight. Two, return to home height must be above the tallest obstacle in your area. And signal loss behavior should be return to home, not hover. And why does this matter? Because your drone's fail safes can only protect you if you set them correctly. Let's break down each crash. The World Trade Center had signal loss at long range. The Vegas Strip had return to home set at too low of a height. For the Space Needle, distance limit would have prevented restricted zone entry. For the SoFi Stadium, the signal loss behavior was set to hover. Power Station, no maximum distance limit. Kentucky Derby, return to home, set too low. On the Hollywood set, the signal loss behavior was incorrect. And Miami Beach was the only crash with proper settings, which means pilot error. So for a cost savings of $1.2 million, it costs you five minutes of time. In theory, of course, you're not, not you, but them. Because the most expensive part was all of these drone pilots had these options available, they just didn't set them properly. Now that you know this, I challenge you to take a quick look at your drone settings. I'll bet at least one of these isn't set correctly. Comment below what you found. You may just help another pilot avoid joining the million dollar damage club. And drop a dollar sign in the comments if you hope to personally never add to this list. And let me know your guess at the total number of drone incidents each year. Closest guess gets a $10 Amazon gift card so you can buy everything your heart desires. In the meantime, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you feel like liking and subscribing. And I hope you get time to fly today. See you in the next one.